There we go. I don't know how to order my thoughts to convey the message that I want to convey right now. Basically, logged into Warframe, got the daily login reward, two away from 400 right now, and I realized I'm a gamer. I have been my whole life. But I don't feel like that anymore. With all the updates to various games making it more difficult to do anything, most notorious of which was in Destiny 2, <clears throat> where they fucked around with the experience system and throttled everyone back, making them grind more for less. And with such bullshit releases as Fallout 76 and Anthem, and how fucked the whole core mechanics of the game is. And what some other YouTubers most boisterous of such, Jim Sterling has said, and has shown the evidence that backs it up, turning players into payers. I don't feel like a gamer anymore. I feel like a fucking slave. When the hell did that become fucking acceptable? Why the fuck did all of you let this happen? Why the fuck didn't you sue these corporations over infringing your unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness? It's in the fucking Declaration of Independence. It is a fucking legal thing. You can fucking use it. Why the fuck didn't you? Hell, 15 years ago, before all this bullshit went down, I wrote a letter to Microsoft, to their legal department, telling them I see all these problems popping up and I want to fix it before it gets worse they didn't even bother fucking responding so now the complete bureaucratic corporatization and enslavement of gamers has come full fucking circle When it became social norm to leap to a, a game's defense when it's a full price release and it has microtransactions in it, the, the bullshit defense was, it's only cosmetic. That just, that just let corporatocracy take another step forward. Now here you all are. Me, myself included in this one, saying things about how shit the industry's become. But if you really gave a fuck, you wouldn't just take to social media. You'd sue these fucking assholes. Because they are in violation of the fucking Constitution, the goddamn Declaration of Independence. And they're guilty of treason. But you just, you know, you sat there bitching about it. 
whining, complaining, bashing people on other channels, thinking your anonymity grants you any fucking thing when it doesn't. Thinking to yourself, with the normalcy bias and your Stockholm Syndrome asses rampantly sucking the corporate dicks while they reach into your pocket and take every fucking penny. And it's all about money. Money is the great enslaving tool of any government or any group of people who think they're better than everyone else. Who else feels like they're not a gamer anymore? Who else feels like they've been boxed in and enslaved? As more and more it goes on, and you know, I don't have to go off and, and watch videos of people talking about stuff. I can just see it in games that I do play. I've watched three updates come and go in Warframe over the whole year that I've played it, or you know, the near 400 login days that I've got. And I've seen, I've seen it get more grindy. Whether it's DE, or it's Microsoft, or it's some bitch like Bobby Kotick being a fucking money, greedy, whore, Jew, wannabe, fuckwit. Insert whatever derogative uh, fucking adjectives you want there. It's too fucking much now. I don't find myself wanting to play a game because I enjoy it anymore. I find myself wanting not to play a game because I feel like I'm fucking enslaved. This is illegal. It is a form of psychological and emotional abuse. And any one of you who are going to leap to the defense of the industry, for any fucking reason, you've all got Stockholm Syndrome. Go fucking kill yourself, you little bitches. I don't fucking care what you have to say. I'm not going to listen to it. I'll just ban you and never allow you to comment on my videos ever again. Fuck off. I don't care. I don't want to hear bullshit. Why well, don't I do something that the, the gaming industry is doing? One company points to another and say, Oh, it's okay because they're doing it too. We're just not doing it as egregiously. What was it? Upper Echelon Games? One of those dudes covering Anthem. He said he's tired of hearing everybody's bullshit. And if they believe for one fucking second that Anthem is a an acceptable game that they can just fuck themselves and that's exactly what the fuck he said go fuck yourself we reached the point where society is ripping itself the fucking apart all the way to fucking shreds I don't know how else to fucking say it. I notice every time the industry pulls some bullshit like this, other Let's Players most notably Jack, Mark, and well, used to be Pewds. Yeah, Jack and Mark. They stay the fuck away from these 
AAA acclaimed releases because Mark got burned with EA's Battlefront 2 re-re-release and then he's just like no I want to stay away from that shit it's fucking stupid if you haven't noticed he's been playing more indie titles And he's gone back to GTA 5. And he's on a role playing server fucking around there. Maybe he feels the same way about all this bullshit. Or maybe he's just avoiding the shitstorm so that he can keep working as a YouTuber and make a bit of money to support himself. Don't fucking know. But there's a definite pattern there. Every time the industry pulls one of these major fuck-ups and pisses off an entire group of people that want to play the game and what they did with Anthem, they banned somebody for exploiting the economy. Here's a big fucking hint. A big fucking reveal all you fucking morons in a game where you don't have trading with other players where you don't buy or sell things to other players there is no fucking economy so you can take that bullshit excuse and shove it up your fucking ass it's just the fuckwits in charge of everything the fucking Bobby Kotick's Squeezing every fucking penny out of you because you're no longer a person playing a game. You're a fucking asset or a liability. You're a fucking slave. If you don't fucking believe that truth, go fuck yourself.